All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rikai Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. And today's lesson, as you can see on your screen, this is the group uh, Tears for Fears. And uh, and I entitled it after their name. Everybody wants to rule the world, and this is so beautiful, man. You know, this is a very spiritual song, and these guys has got to be Israelites, man. You know, and <clears throat> so you know, Israelites ain't always got to look like the so-called black or Hispanic or Native American. You know, it's all the bloodline, okay? What Esau Edom calls a DNA. And we know that, you know, you know, uh, 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 the uh, the pedigree comes from the, you know, the father, which is, uh, you know, the seed, or the semen, which is short for seed, man. You know, comes from semen. Semen comes from seed. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> so what I wanted to do with this video here, uh, I wanted to. Uh, get the lyrics from it because you know that's a beautiful song man everybody wants to rule the world that's what it all comes down to when you uh talk about uh you know uh rulership and so the lord is going to give his people rulership and what i mean by the lord the lord name is yahweh shot man you know through his father or through our father yahweh man okay so <clears throat> so what I did, I, you know, looked at the lyrics, man. And it's such a beautiful song, man. You know, I I, I wish I could play it, but it'd be a copyright <clears throat> uh, strike or, uh, or infringement or whatever for playing that song. And uh, it was so beautiful, man. You know, every time I hear the song, I always think of the end of the world, you know, the end of. Uh, age in the, the end of Esau's age, you know. Uh, 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 Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Okay, and Esau is the so called white man, and Jacob is the so called black, Hispanic, and Native American, which we are all one people. When I say all, I mean the whole 12 tribe of Israel, so called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Okay. We are one people. <clears throat> so Esau Edom has used the, the divide and conquer uh, strategy, you know, on on uh, our people. You know, have us thinking that we're different when we come from our, the same father, man. Okay, so we're brothers. Okay, so it has, uh, I'm going to read a couple of lyrics and maybe get some precepts, Lord willing, and set a fine to the flock. It says, welcome to your life. And it goes, it, it, I'm going to kind of sing it a little bit. It says, welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Even while we sleep, we will find you. And, you know, and just off of that, you know, a uh, couple of bars, you know, I was like, <clears throat> You know, this is like the beginning of, you know, your life. And this is uh, what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has for us as a people. Okay, no turning back, man. You know, meaning like, you know, we have to go and, 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 and you know, uh, against pretty much the grain of, of what this world has for us. So there ain't no turning back from it. Which, you know, and it says, even while we sleep. And, you know, it had me thinking of the scripture uh, that, 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 the, that the Lord has, uh, in, you know, uh, embedded in us uh, what we need to do. Uh, oh, man, while we sleep. Uh, I, I, I can't remember how the scripture go. Let's see if we can find it in the... Uh, uh, let's see if we can find it from, uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see, uh, 
I think it said while men sleep. Okay. Uh, I think this is one here. Uh, I don't think this is one. But why men sleep? No, that's not the one. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. That's, that's that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can do it like this. I think that's probably the I re I worded it wrong. So, uh, man, uh, it says wake out of sleep. We will not all sleep. Uh, <clears throat> let's see if we can get it like this. Uh, Lord willing to come up. I, I believe it was in the Old Testament. Uh, yeah, Job thirty three and fifteen. I believe that's it. Let's see if this is it. Uh, uh, I believe that's it. Uh, uh, maybe it's Job 4 and 13. Let's look that up. Uh, Job 4 and 13. Job, <clears throat> the book of Job chapter 4 and verse 13. I believe this is it, uh, Lord willing, this is it, uh, uh, thoughts and vision of the night, when we okay, well, I don't, I don't think that's it, uh, let's see, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep fall upon man, and slumber, let's see, is, maybe this is it. Uh, let's let's see. Uh, fifteen. It says in a in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep fall upon man, and slumbering upon the bed. Uh, so like wow. Then he opened his ears. Then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instructions. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's what it is, man. Okay, the Lord and in, in, uh sealed the instructions in men. Okay, and that was that was the scripture I was looking for. I was uh <clears throat> so it says, Welcome to your life, turn there's no turning back, even while we sleep. Okay, so the man the Lord and in, in the instructions in man while he's sleeping. He said, We will find you. <clears throat> So there's no getting away from this, uh, you know, your lot that the Lord has set up for you. Okay. And, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole uh, a song, but it, it's just some things that's uh, kind of a couple of these verses or the bars that kind of stuck out, you know. Uh, uh, it says, act on your behalf, your back, acting on your best behavior. You know, this is and this is for the men of the Lord, you know, uh, uh, to be into this truth. You know, we have to be on our best behavior. We have to be a spiritual man, you know, a uh, spiritual and not carnal man. You know, that's the whole fight. Uh, and I believe that's in. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what was that? It might be in First Corinthians or something like that. Uh, 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 yeah, let's see. Uh, I thought it was in First Corinthians. It, it, it's it's in one of it's one of my favorite books. Uh, maybe Second Corinthians. Uh, I'm kind of looking through uh, the scriptures. Uh, that got it in my hand here, and I kind of I think I had it highlighted. Uh, let's see, so like it for that. Uh, but yeah, that's the whole fight of man. Maybe it's, uh, uh, what is it? Maybe it was, uh, let's see. You know what? I believe it had to have been in the book of, uh, Colossians. Let's look in Colossians. Uh, I believe I'm hitting it eye. Uh, or maybe it was Ephesians. 
Uh, let's see. Give me a second. Uh, nope. Couldn't have been in Colossians. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's Galatians. Uh, so let's get Galatians to like it for that. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to Galatians right quick. So I like it for that. That mishap. Uh, Galatians chapter 5 and verse 14. It says, for all. No, let's go to 16. It says, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay. So, this is us being on our best behavior. It says, turn back on, on Mother Nature. And, every, and we know <clears throat> there's no Mother Nature. It's just Yahweh Bashimi Abishai, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is, 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 is what they call it, or uh, what we, we know as man, okay? And the main scripture that pops up in my head when I always, you know, uh, when someone say mother nature uh, is God or woman is in the scripture tell you that the Lord is a man of war. Okay. It said everybody, it says turn, turn back on mother nature and there's no turning back, you know, with the father, you know, it, it, like I said, through the spirit, you know, everything is, uh, everything is instilled in, in everybody and everybody's playing that lot. It said everybody wants to rule the world. Yeah. And you can see that what's going on with, you know, with the different wars and rumors of wars with uh, Ukraine uh, and Russia war. And, uh, you know, uh, the China, so-called Chinese and these other countries, man. You know, that's what it all comes down to, you know, because America, uh, Babylon the Great, is pretty much... Uh, in a race with uh, uh, China, uh, you know, to see who's, you know, more economically, uh, you know, well in doubt, or who's making the most money, okay? And they're saying it's China. And, you know, China thinking they're going to be the next to rule. But the Lord says, uh, Jacob, uh, it's a, Jake, it's a Esau is the end of the world which is the age that we're in now. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. Nothing about Moab, which is the so-called Chinese. It says, everybody wants to rule the world. It says, it's my own desire. It's my own remorse. It says, help me to decide. Help me make the most of freedom and of pleasure. Nothing ever uh, lasts forever. It says, everybody wants to rule the world. Yeah, we know every... You mean, we know nothing lasts forever. Everything in this world is, is carnal. Uh, how does the scripture go? Uh, the things of this world is temperate. I believe that's how it goes. Uh, let's see if we can find that. Lord willing. <clears throat> it's, uh, cor uh, the things of this world is corruptible. Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, and I got that, uh, you seen that as a, <clears throat> uh, uh, no, that's about to, uh, how does the scripture go, uh, corrupt, let's see, oh, man. Hold a minute. Kind of got off right there. Let's go ahead and get it anyway. Uh, but this is not what I was looking for. Uh, I was more looking for the things in heaven is uh, forever. And it, of this world is uh, corruptible, uh, a rust. I believe it is. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse five, uh, 53, it says, for this corruptible must put on incorrupt corruption, and the mortal the mortal the mortal must put on immortality. 
okay <clears throat> and that's going into you know uh, the temp uh, the, the temperate things of this world you know we have to pull off you know separate ourselves from you know the the the, the, the wants of this world and put on the spiritual you know uh, uh, armor of uh immortality okay uh so the scripture that i was thinking of is uh it said mouse bitten. How's it going? Mouth bitten, not mouse, but uh, that's wrong. I believe that's how the scripture goes. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, 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 I thought it would come up, but that's, oh, that's wrong. Uh, King James Version. So I like it for that. Uh, I think this might be, I think it was Matthew's. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, booyah, the water yah by Shimia Shai, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 20. It says, But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, where neither moth or rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So we have to have our mindset on the beautiful things that's in heaven, the treasures in heaven, man. Okay? Not the things, the temperate things of this world here. Okay? And everybody wants to rule the world. It says there's a room where the light won't find you. Holding hands while the walls come tumbling down. When they do, I'll be right behind you. You know? And, you know, you can, you know, you can, you know, use this as a, uh, that the Lord is, you know, in, in the time of destruction of Jacob's trouble, that the Lord said, uh, you know, uh, he will hide us in the shadow, uh, in his shadow. Uh, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> and you can see this little thing. I got icon right here. This is. Uh, something I say for the uh the, the people that the 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 what do you call those people the uh, the read the Quran the uh uh, uh. well anyway you know uh, I'm thinking I'm grabbing something else I like it for that uh okay. All right, uh, uh, shadow, Salaki. I'm sorry for that. Uh, oh, I believe it was in the book of Psalms. Uh, I believe this might be it. Psalms 144. I don't think that's, uh, Um, uh, uh, let's see, let's see, he brought me up. Uh, hmm. It's like a, uh, there we go. Psalm 17 and verse 8. It said, keep me as the apple of thy of the eye hide me under the shadow of thy wing and I believe this is uh, from the psalm of David here um, and uh, talking you know this is a prayer to the most high man okay it says from the wicked that oppress me for my deadly enemies who can pass me about it says they are enclosed in their own fat with their mouth, they speak proudly. They have now compassed us 
and our steps, they have set their eyes, brow down to earth, bow down to earth, okay? So, you know, this is Esau Edom, and this is a prayer that we, you know, we, we speak into existence, you know, because that's what's actually going to happen. That's, that's how salvation comes, you know, through your faith, uh, you know, in the scriptures, man. On what the Lord says is going to happen, you know. The Lord said his word would not go out void. All right. So what the Lord says he has for us, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. The Muslims. Uh, uh, Muslims, as they say. You know, that's what this icon here was for. And, uh, you know, because uh, there's a guy pulled up on me in the camp uh, last week <clears throat> and gave me a. Uh, uh, on holy Quran, and uh, he wanted me to read it, and you know it was it's just a like the guy the brother say, man, it's toilet paper, man. Okay, and uh, I, I, it's and the reason I saved this was because uh, uh, it, it had something in there. Uh, it was a one twenty two talking about uh, here it is. This is. It says, O children of Israel, remember my favorites upon you. It says, and how I honor you above all, above the others. Okay? So that's why I got that, you know, you know for if anyone wants to know why I have this, uh, <clears throat> this icon right here, uh, bookmarked or whatever. So, you know, back to the, the lesson. It says, uh, so in that room that the Lord is saying he's going to have us in is, you know, the, the room of, of the chariot. I believe that's going to what it says in thy chambers. Uh, that was cool, too. It says. In thy chambers. Oh my gosh, what the heck? So like it. Uh, oh no, that's definitely not it. So like it for that. Uh I thought that was in uh, Isaiah. Well, I thought it was in Psalms. Uh, uh, yeah, Isaiah 26 and 20. Let's see if we can just grab it from Isaiah 26 and 20. So I like it for that. Uh, Isaiah 26 and 20. I believe that's what it was. Short memory. It's a lucky for that. Isaiah 26 and verse 20. It says, uh, It says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy door about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation over, be overpassed. You know, and this is the salvation of the elect that's uh <clears throat> that's gonna be taken care of during Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh it says uh it says uh so glad we almost made it. <laughs> you know, and, and that's beautiful, man, you know. So glad we almost made it. And we're right now at that time, man. You know, uh, forgive me for my, you know, American Idol uh, singing. <laughs> but, yeah, man, so, you know, we, we, we definitely in this time, man, that we, we, you know, we're so glad that we almost made it because, you know, this is the last thing that has to kick off, man, is, you know, it's just, the, the, you know, the implementation, uh, uh, implementation, implementation of the uh the electronic device man you know that's gonna uh 
take, you know, uh, uh, take the space of the, uh, the currency. Okay. And it has to be inserted in you. And, you know, when you go into the, the actual word in the Greek is the karagma, man. That's an insertation. If I'm saying that word correctly, you know, and it's going to be used to pretty much be a word of, of buying and selling. Okay. As the scriptures go into, it says, so glad we almost made it. So sad they had to fade it. Everybody wants to rule the world, you know? And, you know, that's Esau, man. So sad they had to fade it. And, you know, they, you know, uh, uh, when you go into that, 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 those lyrics, you know, you get a, 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 a thought of, uh, you know, or, you know, that thought comes to your mind that, that you know, why we had to go through this. But this is what the Lord set up for us, man. We had to go through this because of, you know, the breaking of the laws of, you know, our forefathers, which, you know, this is, you know, this is the most highest movie. This is, you know, the lot we had to play. It says, I can stand, I can't stand the indecision, married, married with lack of vision. Okay. And that's a, a, if you look into it, we, we, we definitely, uh, here in this world, you know, being married is, you know, it's not like it, you know, uh, used to be as in the ancient time when our forefathers were married, you know, you know, it was the woman had her, 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 you know, her lot that she played as a, a partner or a help meet. Okay to the man and now it's you know 50 50 you know if you're a man and you get a divorce you know the women get 50 percent <laughs> of what what you have you know and that's the only way i can see is 50 50 because a man is a woman is not equal to a man at all okay and the lord did say in the scripture that uh esau was gonna uh uh change the times the laws and, uh, you know, and, and, and everything will be upside down, for lack of better words. Everybody wants to rule the world. Yeah. And say, so say that you never, never, never need it. On headlines, why believe it? You know? And the headlines is, you know, this witchcraft, this idiot box that we have, you know, that, uh, that that uh you know it 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 what do you call it what's the word i'm looking for it uh it you know spoils the brain or you know it it makes the younger people and some older people to believe that you know you have a decision on what you want to do and what you want to be as far as you know uh, opposition or uh, uh, to where you know as the most high made you you know you could be what you see on TV or you know he made you a man but you see on TV a man being as a woman okay and that's the uh, you know the headlines why I believe it okay and these headlines are, uh, would tarnish you man it says everybody wants to rule the world. It says all for freedom and for pleasure. Nothing else lasts forever. Yeah, everybody wants to rule the world. We know every, nothing lasts forever here in this world, man. Okay? But what we have coming to us will last forever, man. And that's the Lord allowing us to uh, uh, rule the earth forever, man. This is Philippians chapter 3. Uh, I, I lost it just that quick. In verse 20, it says, For our conversation is in heaven, for whence also we look for the salvation 
the Lord Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, who shall change our vile bodies, that it may be fastened like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Yeah, man, so this is this is what it's all about right here, man. The tears for fears, man. Everybody wants to rule the world, but the Lord is going to give the world to, uh, you know, Jacob, man, and his descendants. Uh, you know, uh, we are the heirs of the promise. Okay, so I believe uh, I had one more scripture that I've been quoting. Uh, let's see. And I should know this, and I should know exactly what this is, but, you know, I quote it so much, and I think it's 2nd Edges chapter 9, well, very, no, chapter 2 and verse 9, maybe. Uh, nope, that's not it. 2nd Edges, uh, yeah, chapter 6 and verse uh, nine, which we're gonna make sure we get that out. We're not gonna quote that one. We don't uh make sure we see it uh on the camera because this is a uh, name. The title of this is everybody wants to rule the world, and this is the rulers that are gonna rule the world, man. Okay, Second Ezra chapter six and verse nine. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth." Okay, so this is the uh, who's going to rule the world, man. Okay, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is the ruler of the, uh, the, the next world, man. And the Lord said that we're going to rule the world forever and never, ever. Okay, so uh, with that being said, uh, let's get that also before we close out. Uh, I believe that's Daniel chapter 12. Uh, I think it's 12 and... Is it 12 and 10? Let's see. Uh, Daniel chapter 7. Uh, let's see. Daniel chapter 7. And verse 18. Let's see. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. And who are the saints? The saints are the Israelites. And uh, I believe that's in uh, Psalms chapter 147. Okay, even Israel. Okay. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever, okay? This, so this is telling you who's going to be the rulers of the, earth, the new earth, man. The, new, the universe, okay? So with that being said, you know, I just really wanted to touch on that. It was, it was a beautiful song, man. So, like, every time I hear this song about tears for fears, man, everybody wants to rule the world. It, it, it puts me in the mindset of, you know, us ruling man uh and it, it reminds me of the end of the world or the end of age okay so with that being said you know we're gonna give all praises and honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem rika kwadash okay double honors to the elder apostles great millstone who taught us this truth and peace and salutations you know to the rest of the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth the prophesy the downfall of this society and allowing the true rulers of the earth to be able to uh, overcome or to rule in righteousness. Okay? You know, this, this would be the day of singing, man, when we uh, rule this earth, man. Okay? And, and, and the earth is crying out for a righteous ruler, man. And the righteous rulers are the Israelites, man. One that you never thought would rule the earth, man. Okay? And that's the Israelites, man. God's chosen people. Okay? 
So with that being said, I'm going to end it and give all praises to Yahweh Shemiah Shah. So let it be.